Hi there, I'm Holly Hucklesby and I am the InDesign Illustrator and Photoshop teacher at Nicole's Classes. And I wanted to show you a little sneak peek of something that uh, you'll be able to create once you do my InDesign 101 class. And that is um, a really nice stylish calendar. This is so, so simple to create. And I wanted to show you really quickly how I would go about creating something like this. So um, you may be familiar with this pattern here, the scalloped pattern. I actually show you how to create this in my Illustrator 102 class. And um, so you can totally create this entire thing once you do both of the um, Illustrator and InDesign classes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy uh, this page just so that I've got it as reference um, above. And I'm just going to delete these sections here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my text frame. I'm going to make sure that there's no stroke and no fill. And I'm just going to click and drag. So that's just a live text frame and I'm going to go up to table, insert table and I just want to have basically the body row of seven and the columns of seven and I'm going to press OK. And you may think well that just looks pretty ugly, well just bear with me for now. Um, I'm just going to zoom in for a section and um, I'm just going to get my type tool and I'm just going to hover and I'm going to select all the um, cells. I'm then going to go um, actually to window and then type in tables and bring up my tables option dialog box. Um, and as before, it's seven and seven. And I'm just going to select instead of at least I'm going to go to exactly. And I'm just going to make these slightly bigger like that, which is absolutely perfect. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit um, M and then hit my um, tab. Um, oh, actually, first of all, now I'll start with S for so Sunday. So S, Tab, M, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Perfect. And I'm just going to highlight those. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is hit Command T to select um, a character. So I'm just going to select maybe Gotham, which is just a really nice, simple uh, typeface. And I'm just going to go with bold. And then what I'm going to do is just here, I'm going to make sure that it's centered within the cell. And, um, and then up here... I'm just going to make sure that it's centered both um, in the middle and in the center of both, basically both cells. I'm going to make that type a little bigger, which is perfect. OK, now let me just double check what I did here to start off with. So it's zero one, one. Perfect. So we're going to start here because for November, it's zero one 1 starting on the Saturday. So we're going to go zero one 1 and then tab. And then I'm literally just going through. Just going through the numbers real quick. And then once you've obviously created your first one, this is going to be a lot quicker to create all the months. But if I was you, I'd probably do one a, um, one a month, as it were, so you're not overly doing it. Okay, perfect. And then the next thing I'm going to do is type tool and I'm going to click and drag to highlight those. And I'm going to do the same typeface, Gotham. And I'm probably going to go with a nice book um, version of the weight. And I'm just going to center these as well. OK, perfect. So the next thing I want to do is I actually don't want all these table um, lines everywhere. So I'm going to highlight everything. And then up at the top here, can you see there's this little sort of... Um, Mark, I'm literally going to highlight all the blue. That basically is highlighting every single stroke, horizontal and vertical stroke of the table. And I'm going to select zero, which basically means zero points, so there's no stroke. So it just looks like that, which is perfect. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the type. And um, I'm going to go to F5, which are my swatches. And I'm going to color the type, maybe a nice gold, actually. And then the actual numbers. I'm going to color in that nice blue and then I'm literally just going to maybe make this a little bit bigger and then center this and the last thing I need to do is just type out November and then change it to a nice typeface so I think I'm going to go with this really nice maybe that one maybe maybe Jenna she oh no that's not working let's pick something else just something nice and a nice script of some description. Um, it's a bit too much. 
Oh, that one's quite nice. Let's just go with that. Um, it might be that. Come on, T. La la. Let's make this a bit bigger. Go. Maybe it's a bit. Let me do this lowercase actually instead. That's better. A bit friendlier. Um, and then change that to the blue. And there we go. A really quick November cal um, calendar using the table tool. So if you've got any questions on the InDesign 101 class that's being launched in November, don't hesitate to send me an email and I hope that you sign up. Thanks. Bye.